All right, welcome back for Xenoblade. Uh, we got me, we got Ryan. We're gonna see what we can do about this big guy here who I tried to fight, but I cut it out of the last episode because I just couldn't couldn't beat it with uh, Fiora on our team since uh, her health was like half of mine and she died in two hits. But maybe with a character that seems more suited to be a tank, this will work out a bit better. We're going to get rid of the dudes around him, though. Okay. <laughs> what a bunch of jokers. Is still the funniest shit. Nice, we got the big hit. Get the physical defense down. I've got a good feeling about this one. Oh, that was backslash. My bad. Try and heal him up. Nice. Challenge one. Uh, it's a mission that the defense force can't complete. A terrifying monster. Uh, that wasn't too bad now that we have a dedicated tank that can take a hit. Ragbone hammer. Uh, messenger shoes. Have a look at that. Ragbone Hammer. Physical defense. Uh, complex yet efficient weapon. It has an agility up on it. What I have here does uh, a, a lot more damage. But this will up his defenses, his block rate, and give him better agility. Let's have a look at it. Yeah, it seems pretty good, but also... But also the one I had before, the stat-wise, I kind of like better. What I noticed here, though, I went to this menu. I didn't do anything yet. The arts menu. And upon picking up those books, which I should have noticed this earlier, but I didn't click this menu last episode, I got access to the level 5, 6, and 7s here. So I got it. I, I now need to get book uh, another set of books to get uh, 8, 9, and 10. So you can, like, level up your various arts. Uh, and then you gain AP from playing that make these things better. So I'm going to start pouring stuff into these. Uh, so, like, backslash we can do. Uh, slit edge we can do. And I think light heal. Those will be our choices for you. You have a bunch of stuff here, actually. Let's see. Swing weapon, drawing aggro, assault the enemy with a mighty punch, dealing damage to enemies in range. Aura that lowers physical damage, talent gauge refills over time. Available when an aura is active. I don't actually know uh, which ones we necessarily should... You know, we should do Wild Down. That inflicts Topple, because we have Break, Break. You follow that up with Topple, and then I think... I think this game has Days? I think Days might be the next thing, because I, I saw that pop up, and I saw that Fiora had that. Another reason why she should be here, but she's uh, apparently just too good for us. Mm-mm-mm. Not great. Well, we'll upgrade those slightly. Skill trees. What are we looking at here? Integrity, humanity, intuition. Improve agility, block rate, or ether. Yeah, I, th I think we'll start with that. Okay. 
Okay. I may have to mess with those at some point. But for now, for now, we're good. We've upgraded ourselves a l just a smidge. We completed a mighty challenge. I believe there's something here that I, I was not equipped to do. Like, I remember jumping into some sort of ravine. Actually, I remember which one it was. Actually. Hold on. It was here. There was an epic fish that I could not deal with. May have to change the time of day to get it to spawn, but we're doing it. There's a chest right here. Apparently, I missed this. I'm glad it stayed. Raw Piranix Crystal. Well, my mark isn't in the water. Guess we'll just roll back the clock. And there she is. May have to, may have to weed out the others first. Yeah, we're gonna want to get the uh, the get the pawns out first. Oh, this little Vang wants it as well. And now for the main course. Yeah, let's get that debuff in there. Hmm. I can't reach some of these enemies, which makes this a good bit harder. Killed the wrong person. I hit down on this D-pad, but as you know, the Switch D-pad, not great. And yoink. Heal him up. Pull aggro, please. I need your support. Ah, screw it. Ah. Challenge three. Done. That was a little bit more complicated because I couldn't I couldn't push forward in the water to do shit, so it was a little harder. Uh, but we got him. Which makes sense. It's like, it's too deep, so I'd be swimming. I'm not going to say as if I don't know the reason why. That'd be a little awkward. So, hold on here. Let's look at a quest log. The challenges are clearly the epic shit we got to do. And we did two of those. Did one three. What's challenge two? You've been asked to eliminate a gigantic monster because it looks hard to defeat. Verdant Blukel. Anti-air battery one. What is the other one? Wallside Gwynry and the Magmel Ruins. Okay, that's that's one we'll, we'll do through the main quest. What about this one? Two Stone Crabbles on Agora Shore. I think we should search out Agora Shore. Oh yeah, I was thinking about doing that earlier and then I kind of just dropped it. Yeah, I don't remember where that is. Uh, hold on, we have a quest objective here in the here in the shopping di the commercial district let's uh pick that up Alley -oop. Alley -oop. <laughs> stop jumping hello you fixed it thank you oh yeah i went to the i went to my lab and fixed your thing that's right quest completed picked up muscle up Let's look at uh, equipment here. Muscle up. Physical defense goes up. Uh, I he can't hold a gem, so sure.
All right, well, they said anti-air battery. Anti-air battery one's right there. Okay. Let's go to the Mechon wreckage site. We do not have... We have neither of the characters needed for that. Unless they just... It could be that, or it could be if you have the right combo, we'll show them. But I'm imagining two people being missing there means that two entirely different people need to be there for it. We need to find a way to jump onto this spot. Though the elevation's making me think that that's just not going to happen. It's starting to make me think that uh, I need to be like further down looking through this. Yes, that's absolutely what that means. Okay, fine. We'll go through the main entrance and head north. Notice how Ryan took no damage. You know why? He's my dependable tank. You know, that's all it took. These side quests became much more of a thing I didn't have to worry about as soon as... As soon as I had someone who could actually take any anything approaching a hit. And then, of course, we have... The blue coal. Everyone, let's go. I'm ready to leave. Yeah. All right, I know how to play. I know positionals. It's like I have to. I play a dragoon in Final Fantasy XIV. God, this track's so good. And the remix they did for the remaster is also really solid. <laughs> You're done. A affinity coin. Uh, we got Bouncer Knives and Million Driver. Well, we don't have uh, what's-her-name here, but we can check out what Million Driver is. Finely crafted weapon made of a million parts. Looks the same as all the other shit. Uh, what are the... It's got a slot, which that's kind of its benefit. Now I just need to figure out where Agora Shore is. So I just I just googled it out of curiosity and Agora Shore seems to be on the right side here so our journey begins to try and get to it our journey is cancelled I can't jump the ah! <laughs> Ryan we're alive we seem to have found ourselves some quest monsters on the way to Agora Shore here on the Cape the Hazai Cape let's take on the Scrabble Bad positioning on my part. That's the good shit. I guess we're fighting this thing because uh, my brain fucked up buttons. Whatever, we'll get him in a group here. He's level 9, so he is pretty scary. But we got good damage. Wait, no, 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 no. That one. Quest done. The way it just goes quest complete as you... As that last slash lands is so satisfying. <laughs> I'm going to die every time he says it. Hey, what's up? I did the thing that you that you wanted. Oh yeah, you were probably the one where I went around and found a person just hanging out, slacking off on the job. Now. One, I kind of want to look at the the affinity chart. I want to see how 
good we are at this point. Huh, only one star. You'd think we'd be doing a little bit better given all the quests I did, but uh, people have also said there's 10,000 quests here, so never mind. Uh, that being said, uh, I don't see many quest markers. There's like one over there, but we, we're on the way there, so we'll do that. Of course. Uh, but if we look at the quest log, we've done a lot of stuff so far. I made the mistake of uh, almost thinking Challenge 4 was in Agora Shore, but it wasn't. It was the other quest. So we've done, we've done everything. Uh, everything I've uh, managed to find, at least. So it's at this point that my brain goes, what now? And my brain's going, go to commercial district and sell your trash. You've yet to do that in a bit. Well. And, uh, yeah, we, we, we do have some trash. And we own all that. Okay. Just keep our keep our money healthy. So our goal here is to hit this spot, which seems to be traveling around this bend. So we'll save ourselves a couple of seconds and jump in there. So so far, early impressions on the game. I'm really enjoying it. It's it's a good It's just fun to explore the world in this quite a bit. It's fun to just, you know, relax, uh, familiar, familiarize yourself with the location and do the quest. Quest design in games uh, tends to be, tends to range from good to bad in, in a variety of different games. And I think it all depends, from my personal perspective, on how much it hurts to do them, you know? from both gameplay and, and from how much time it's uh, taking up for you uh, in, on the in-between to, to describe it a little bit because I play a lot of different games uh, where, I, where I've said things about quests like I played Final Fantasy 15 I played you know the, the Trails games just you know games on this channel that have appeared that have used side quests and I think what what makes a lot of side quests weak or uh, is when you're making trash quests which these are make no mistake uh, just MMO-esque, go-do-the-thing, quickly types of quests. What I'm finding so far that makes these... Makes it so they circumvent these from being terrible is... Uh, one, you can... One, the text is almost like nothing on most of these. It's just, you gotta go take out the monster for these people. You gotta go, gotta go over here and collect this thing, gotta go do this. The thing that makes it so these work is that... Uh, one, you get through the text incredibly quickly. Two, uh, when when you do 90% of these quests and you complete them by, say, killing a monster or picking up an item somewhere in the field, it'll immediately tell you the quest is done and give you the reward. And then you get back to your thing. So many games have either traveling around, the, the traveling back to locations really sucks when you have to go back and turn that shit in which, you know, is a holdover from, like, MMORPGs. That can be difficult. Sometimes they overwrite in, like, a Trails game where you're like, oh, man, this quest is a, a bit trashy, but I can get through it. But also there's, like, three minutes of dialogue here that didn't need to be here. <laughs> and then that kind of makes it a little less engaging. And that if the gameplay kind of makes it so that going and exploring the areas are a slog... But Xenoblade avoids all of these because, one, exploring is one of the key appeals to this game, figuring out where the thing is at times. Uh, the combat feels great, and the fact that there are so many quality of life features that ensure that uh, if I'm going to do if I'm going to do your side quest, I'm not going to want to hate the entire experience. You forgot something. You will be needing the transport cases, right? Fiora. <gasps> ah, I'm coming along as well. I'd feel better going with you boys than sitting at home worrying about you. So, let's get moving. 
Then why didn't you come with us from the start? I knew she didn't trust me. Looks like it. I mean, I get why she didn't do it. She did to, like, surprise you, like, ha, huh? I won't let you guys, you know, you know how it works. Party gauge has been added. Gauge shows party morale. Increases when the bonus effect critical hit occurs. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Reviving incapacitated. Press B near an incapacitated party member. Uh, there needs to be at least one block. I remember this from two. Chain attacks. When there are three blocks and the party is linked by a blue line, you can do chain attack. Move the cursor on the talent arts. Okay, so that's where the run button is. Hit the chain attack thing. And then it does it. Okay, cool. Uh, cool to see we're getting that pretty early. And we have one of these. Wait. We need to be more happy. Currently, we are a weird he hexagon thing. We have not... We have not done what we needed yet. Yes. Going into the cave? Can you kill a willow bunny for me? But of course... Uh, but yeah, I'll take I'll take back my statement uh, about her earlier, of the fact that she can't even bring herself to come help us. Uh, but still, her other issues can probably be forgiven in this current situation because we have a tank on our team, so she isn't going to immediately be be ruined. But God. Uh, there are many types of monsters. You can toggle enemy icons on or off in the display. Okay. Ordinary monsters will not attack you. Visual types that will attack you. Okay, so eyeballs will go and do things. Okay. I understand. We are. We ripped them apart. You are nothing before us. Man, having three party members, uh, uh fucking. That shit really. F I can feel it. Feel run in my tummy tum tum. The immense power within. Cellular bug worm. It's like a level 10. It's too dangerous to go after him. I might as well try. What's the worst that could happen? Using a chain attack, when carrying Anna, you select arts from three members in the party to perform. During a chain attack, any arts that were still in cooldown will be available regardless. Using an arts of the same color consecutively in a chain raises the level of damage. Okay. Decide on what type you want to do based on the circumstances. Talents arts will chain with any color, so try different combos. After the third party member uses it, uh, you can press B at the right moment and use an additional art. The deeper the affinity, the... Oh, uh, okay. You can do up to 15 times. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Time. 
Nice. Leave it to me. We can definitely do the pick it up. Yeah. Grind time. Chain damage 1934. Yeah, well <laughs> I'm doing, uh, yeah, this thing is not happening. <laughs> I, I gave my best shot there, but yeah, that monster is not going down. I get, I understand the combat, though. I understand what they want from me here. And I can do better. I could probably pull that off if I, like, really worked it. Speaking of... Probably can't we do this. If we run into story stuff in which I'm over leveled at times, I will definitely lower my level to make it a challenge. But uh, in this case, I want to actually take that thing out because God, the combat can get real thrilling. The music pumps you up. And uh, yeah, this is a much this is a much simpler version of how um, this is a much simpler version than Xenoblade 2, which as a result taking my knowledge of that game applying it here it's coming together like what they want for me is it's coming together all right with updated equipment i want to see if i can get this going we'll see yeah let's just immediately pop that Go for the break. Go for this. Do this to uh, decrease my aggro. I missed that, but I did. I did get the backslash. All right, the side shot's up. Okay. Yeah. Do days. This is the smart. This is the smarter thing, as it does all the debuff. Debuff stuff is really good. Wow, we actually got him. That was actually real scary. Whew. Old insect egg. Yeah, a lot, a lot of those insect eggs. That big enemy has been scary. I had to do like five or six tries on it. But it seems like uh, break topple days was the key to key to opening his ass. And to think that wasn't the challenge that they were asking of me. Okay, we we are we are completely turned around. But yeah, I understand uh, what the combat's asking of me, and I'm feeling pretty fucking good about it. We'll just run away. Are these the Magmel ruins? Haven't you been here before? Nope. 
The Defense Force often uses it for training. But I come here to do research. It's not really a place that people go. Not surprising. There are monsters around here that use Mechon parts as armor. Was this built by the Mechon? I don't think so. There's a path for people to get in. It might have been a vehicle of some kind. Like the Defense Force hover transports. A vehicle? But it's so big. It's amazing technology. I wonder what kind of people made it. I ain't got a clue. Let's keep moving. The ether cylinders are up ahead. Right. Take shortcuts using... <laughs> Bitch. Bitch, you don't think I know. <laughs> I've used this thing at least 40 times. I know more than anyone in the world. Ooh, jackknives. Let's see if that's <laughs> jokers. Let's see if that's better than what we got now. Uh, for crit rate, but I don't care enough about crit rate. Aura is removed and aggro no longer increases. Target cannot dodge attacks. Critical hit damage increases. Wow. Yeah, all of our goals are a bit further in. Oh, we're, we're, we're really hitting up the techno ruins part. Oh, love that shit. Best part of JRPGs, no matter how often they do it, is when they go, all right. Robot buildings. Let's see. Let's see what you, you're all about. Oh, damn it, you turned around right at the worst, worst moment. Yeah, let's uh, get rid of some of that aggro. Mm. Oh, darn, she died. Shit. down and we got it challenge four done get her up we are in the treasure zone <laughs> I think this game might, in fact, rule, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, Crusher. I'll we'll have, we'll have to take a look at that. Aggro up. It's less damage. But the aggro might be good. Eh, I'll hold back for now, but uh, but I did get it. Feels good to have cleared out that important thing. Picked up the leaf mystery. Uh, hold, ladies and gentlemen, I've solved the mystery. Oh, how? Uh, it's leaf. You're brilliant, Casey. I know. It's crazy. What we got? 
picked up that. I'll just put it in my pocket. Hmm, what are we looking at? Uh, right as a thing was going to pop up. God damn it. <laughs> Seems like I got all, every quest in here turned in. Nice. Feels good to be on top of things. 